So this is like the life of a sloth, hanging in a tree, finding browse, things to munch on. They sleep about 20 hours a day. Oh, so I might be a sloth, guys. <laughs> it's possible I'm a sloth. And Corey, what is your official title here at SeaWorld? I am an animal ambassador, and I think that's the best title I could have here at SeaWorld. It's the best, I mean really, the best job. This is Mila, she's a two-toed sloth, and uh, Mila is one of our rescued animals that makes appearances at the Sea Garden. She was rescued in Panama when she was about two weeks old, she was orphaned. Fortunately, one of our conservation partners was able to rescue her. They raised her for about a year, which means bottle feeding every three hours around the clock and really making sure that she thrived as a newborn. And then when she was about a year old, they asked SeaWorld if we'd be able to give her a permanent home, and she's been here ever since. She's three years old now, and she's one of SeaWorld's most popular animal ambassadors. I mean, this is a viral video waiting to happen right here. Look at this. Would you like to give her a flower? I would like to give her a flower. Nice. So. I'm not just giving her a flower like like in, in a bachelor. You can give her a... <laughs> will you accept this hibiscus? Will you accept this hibiscus? Oh, yes, she will. Oh, she will. <laughs> so I'm not just giving her a flower. This is her diet. Mila's favorite part of her diet are these flowers. She eats fruits and vegetables, lettuce, mm -hmm. uh, and the hibiscus flowers are by far her favorite. We call them her dessert because we usually wait till the end of the day before she gets flowers. I like how she's a blonde too. You guys are kind of twins. She takes after her mother. Oh, you go to the same salon? <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of slots that are much darker. They can be like a dark brown. She's one of the blondest that I've ever seen and one of the most, well, the most beautiful. Do you me. have more fun, Mila? Yeah, now let me show you how she hangs in trees. Oh, let's take a look. I'll back her up here. So slots have these really long nails definitely in need of a manicure, but this is wow. crucial for their survival. They kind of act as hangers on like a clothing rod. They just hook on and they don't even have to consciously think about squeezing onto the tree. Oh, sweetie, you could work at the DMV with those nails. Wow, she's pretty sharp teeth. Yeah, wow. they have those four really sharp ones there, like our canines, and then behind that are molars. And if you notice, she doesn't have any teeth in the front. Oh yeah, look at so that. So they will use their teeth as a defense. They'll use these long nails as defense. They can swipe yeah. at predators because they can't run away. They're the slowest mammal in the world. So to get away from a predator, they've got to use what they have because they can't get away. Um, and a lot of the times, the harpy eagle or the jaguar will find them without them even noticing and it's a lost cause. So trees and the lush forest are really important to these animals because it helps give them protection. Sloths also grow algae on their hair. They have like these microscopic grooves in their hair. Wow, really? So algae will grow, turns them a shade of green and that helps even more protect them because they just blend right into the Sloths forest. Sloths turn green? Yeah, now she's not green because she has a very clean, wonderful environment here at SeaWorld. But in the wild, you will see them turn a shade of green. So she lives here at SeaWorld, but she travels too, right? That's right. All of our animal ambassadors get the opportunity to travel with us. Mila has her frequent flyer miles. She's been to New York, Vegas, DC, Philadelphia, Miami, Jacksonville. We've gone all over, and I've been on all of those trips with her. What are you, Kim Kardashian? Now, be honest. How many sloth selfies do you have in your phone right now? We call them slothies. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty much my entire camera roll, including the home screen as soon as you turn my cam my phone on, it's Mila and myself. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. She takes really good selfies or slothies. She likes to reach out for the phone and bring it in and look at the And she's not gonna move fast, so it's not gonna be blurry. Right. She makes great pictures. Let's talk about this part of the park. So talk right now this. we are in the Sea Garden area of SeaWorld, and this is where Mila and all of the other animal ambassadors come out throughout the day to interact with our guests. A lot of them have really unique stories, like Mila's, how she was rescued as an orphan in Panama. So what is something that we could do to help sloths? Well, they thrive on the rainforest, so we need to make sure our rainforests aren't being wiped out. Buying sustainable produce, and uh, coffee, shade-grown coffee, all of these things that we don't think about because we live here in the United States. We don't think that they're helping animals in South America, but they are. So locally grown orange juice or, or produce. Oh, wow. And also just being aware of... <laughs> Come here. 
Look at that. Oh, it's just it's like a little baby. The other thing is just being aware of the different conservation projects that SeaWorld helps to support. So we donate a million dollars a year to conservation efforts around the world, including the organization that rescued Mila. So just by coming to SeaWorld, the purchase of your ticket helps to go support these animals in the wild because we use a portion of the ticket sales to donate to conservation efforts around the world. That's awesome. You're pretty would you awesome. Would like to touch her? I would like to touch her. You know, it feels, it feels like a really shaggy dog. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit coarse. I think this is her natural color, that's what she says, anyway, so, you're so sweet, but I don't want you as a pet, I just want to visit that's you That's right, it's very important, and you know there are some places that sell sloths as pets, and when... What? Yeah, and the way that they get the sloths is not always the most humane, you know, they can take these animals out of the wild by either killing the mothers and taking the babies, and oh, you don't no. want to support illegal trafficking of uh, exotic animals, so love them, and support them at SeaWorld and other zoological facilities and help protect them in the wild. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This has been super cool. Give us a like if you learned something new and visit bestoforlando.com for tickets. Then subscribe because next time. Man, I'm sorry, this whole time I've been just picturing you cuddling with a bald eagle, so <laughs> it's hard for me to concentrate. Yes, well.